My beloved child, open your ears and listen attentively as I, your Lord God, speak directly to you. God message for you today. What defines a person with good character is not a spotless life of constant kindness, smiles, and even temperament, but rather it's the yearning to learn from their mistakes, applying it, making amends, and choosing not to repeat them that defines good character. These are the ones to keep in your life because they've stared adversity in the face and became a better person because of it. Like this video if you have a believe in God. God is saying to you today, I just hope that you'll look in the mirror and remind yourself of what you are and what you are not. You are not your mistakes. You are not damaged or muddy from your failed explorations. You are not the opinion of someone who doesn't know you. You are the product of the lessons you've learned. You are wiser because you went through something terrible. And you are the person who survived a bunch of rainstorms and kept walking. I now believe being that makes you stronger, and I now believe that walking through a lot of rainstorms makes you clean. Type 11. 11 to claim it. Today's God message for you, life is not a race but indeed a journey. Be honest, work hard, be choosy, say thank you, I love you, and great job to someone each day. Take time for prayer be thankful. Love your life and what you've been given. It is not accidental. Search for your purpose and do it as best you can. Dreaming does matter. It allows you to become that which you aspire to be. Laugh often, appreciate the little things in life and enjoy them. Forgive, it frees the soul. Recognize the special people you've been blessed to know. Take time for yourself. Live for today and enjoy each moment. Type 2, 2, 2 to affirm this to yourself. Today's message for you, goodness is a choice. Stopping yourself from doing what's wrong is not the same as choosing what's right and doing it. Don't stand on the verge of being good. Be as good as you can be. If you can give, give. If you can help, help. If you can make someone's day by a simple act of kindness, make it. Set the bar of success for yourself as high as the best that you can be, not as low as avoiding the worst that you can be. Big difference. Subscribe our channel if you love God. Universe message, and every day the world will drag you by the hand yelling, this is important, and this is important, and this is important. You need to worry about this, and this, and this. And each day, it's up to you to yank your hand back, put it on your heart, and say, no. This is what's important. There are those moments when everything changes, and you know it. You want to close your eyes and make it go back to how it used to be, but you know in your heart that it won't. Things are different now, you are different now, and the world that was isn't anymore. But you won't crumble. You won't fall to pieces for very long, because you're stronger than these difficult moments, and you're wise enough to know that a better future is waiting. You just have to claim it. Type... I am ready to shine, to affirm. Angel's message tonight. Surrendering to change is always a leap of faith. For something new to enter your life, you have to let go of the past and join your immediate experience right now. The key is less in what you do than how connected you are in yourself as you do it. In life, there is no predetermined path you should or have to walk. You lay down the path by how you take each step. This is one of life's greatest truths. The deepest form of self-care is building a life you are in love with, and that is often a very unbeautiful thing. 
It means making a spreadsheet of your debt and enforcing a morning routine and cooking yourself healthy meals and no longer running from your problems and calling the distraction a solution. It means looking your failures and disappointments square in the eye and registration. It is not satiating your immediate desires. It is letting go. It is choosing new. It is disappointing some people. It is making sacrifices for others. It is living in a way that other people won't. So you can live in a way that other people can't. It is becoming the person you know you want and are meant to be. Someone who knows that salt baths and chocolate cake are ways to enjoy life, not escape from it. Type yes if you feel this. Today's message. A beautiful day begins with a beautiful mindset. When you wake up, Take a second to think about what a privilege it is to simply be alive and healthy. The moment you start acting like life is a blessing, I assure you, it will start to feel like one. Time spent appreciating is time worth living. Evolve You're going to go through many evolutions in your lifetime. You're going to crack open time and time again as you expand to the next version of yourself. Sometimes the growth is recognizable, these lightning bolt moments of clarity. Sometimes the growth is quiet, sometimes it sneaks up on you, sometimes you won't notice until you look back years later and see how the dots connect. Type 5, 5-5. Five, five. If you trust God, today's God message for me, choose to live in joy. Life goes by in the blink of an eye. It's too short to live upset, angry, resentful, or ungrateful. If you look for the good, you'll find it. Choose to be happy, to be at peace. Decide that each day is going to be a great day and grab each moment and make the best of it. Refuse to let negative thoughts take root in your mind and refuse to let negative people and situations drag you down. Trust your journey and know that if you make a mistake, it's okay. See it as a lesson learned and keep moving forward. Spend less time worrying and more time being grateful for those who love you and all of life's goodness. God message for you, the ironies. I lost my mind to find my way. I stopped worrying so much and then my love became free. I started softening and found my strength. I got things so wrong and realized everything was going to be all right. When I allowed myself to be confused, I started hearing my true voice. When I stopped fighting the pain, I started being more present. When I stopped trying to make things perfect, I realized they were beautiful enough as they were. When I let go those that needed to fly, the ones that really mattered flew back to me. Life just has this way of making everything beautiful in the most surprising way, and that's why we call it an adventure. To support our channel, please subscribe our channel and turn on bell notification.